So you have finally finished working on your picture. Now you want to add a framework or border and perhaps even some text to the framework or border. This is a little bit of a remake, but we'll cover some new things as we work our way through as well. But uh, first things first, let's put in a new empty layer above our background layer. In fact, talking of our background layer, let's just double click on it. This is bringing up the new layer dialog box and it's telling us it can rename it layer zero. This has got the advantage that it now unlocks it. You'll not notice that little padlock there has disappeared. Right, coming to our layer one, we're making sure we're working on layer one. We're going to pick up the uh, rectangular marquee tool. With the rectangular marquee tool, I'm going to drag it across the picture. Something into this area here would look pretty good. Now, I've made sure that I've got the new selection. That's this one here. That enables us to sort of move it around. Something there would be pretty good. But you want to make sure you've got it directly in the center of the image. So to do that, we're going to first of all fill this with color. We're going to fill it with a background color. So using Command Delete, that's Command Delete. That is Control and Backspace. That's Control Backspace fills it with white. Next, we're going to use Command A Control A, which puts the selection right the way around the outside. That's pretty useful because when we now pick up the Move tool, we just pop this in out of the way. Coming across on the menu bar, we're going to come to this little icon here, which is going to align it to the horizontal. Thank you. Clicking on this, and you'll notice the way it just jumped across. There it is. Job done. Command D, Control D to deselect. So that's the story so far. We now have got a white rectangle floating over the area of the picture that we want to see. Handy. Coming to the Layers panel, coming up to Layer 1 here, we're going to press and hold down Command or Control. You'll notice the way your cursor changes. Clicking down, you've got the selection. Select Inverse. The selection has now multiplied, so you can see you've got like a double tram row coming, or tram line coming around there. Looks pretty good. Dropping down, we're going to come to the Adjustment layer. We're going to go to Solid Color. That's with black. But being adventurous, we're going to change it to white. Click OK to that. Dropping down to layer 1, it's done its job. We can say goodbye by pressing delete on the keyboard. There is our framework or border. It looks pretty good, but it is looking a little bit on the flat side. There's no sort of definition to it. So let's change that. Clicking on it, this is the layer we're now working on. Dropping down to the effects icon. The effects icon, we're going to go to drop shadow. When drop shadow opens, let's just move this down a touch or two. Let's fold that in. Because with the move tool, we can move this around and we can see the way the drop shadow is looking. We're going to place it so it's coming out from all four sides would be pretty good. Come into size, if we move this out, you can see the way we can bring it in. That's giving it more depth, like the way that's looking. And let's click on stroke. Stroke, it's got a black line. You'll notice it's now changed. What was the move tool? As soon as you click on stroke, it's now the hand tool. By pressing command or control, we can now zoom in. So use Command or Control to zoom into that area there. And we're going to change it from black to, let's go have a look at a mid-tone grey. Something like this would be pretty good. Yes, I like that. And we're going to use three pixels. This does depend on the file size of the image you're working on. You can see the file size I've got down here is a relatively small file size. But uh, this will depend on the finished size of the picture you're using. The position is on the outside. and. I was going to click OK, but I've got a thought. How about coming down and going to Pattern Overlay? Don't forget, we've filled this with solid white. It's going to be sort of, there's no definition, there's no pixels, there's nothing in it. It is just a solid tone. So clicking on Pattern Overlay has now just bubble wrapped it. And if we click on the side here, if we just lift this up so we can take a look, clicking on this little icon, brings out this flyout menu. Artist surface is particularly good. If you click on artist surface, I'm going to click uh, OK, which is just going to replace this. I'm going to click on don't save and in it goes. So there we are. You can now click on it. You've got all sorts of bits and pieces. This one here could be pretty good. So selecting this, dropping down the opacity to that area, something like that. I just want a little bit of definition there. Something in that size looks pretty good. You can just see some sort of areas coming through there, just what we're after. Right, now for some text or type. So let's come through. That's what we're on so far. Picking up our text or type tool. You can come in, you can do whatever you want. Uh, this is going to be in 
red. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Right, let's come down. Let's put in this. Suddenly so notice that was in a different colour, but not going to worry about it. In it goes. Now, at the moment, it is not committed. So, to commit it, all you need to do is come over to the T here, or you can come up to the little tick. If you just click on the T here, or the little tick, it has now committed it. You'll notice the name has come through. Bring in the cursor out. It is still the type or the text tool. If you press Command or Control, it is now the Move tool. We can move this around. You can place it anywhere on the picture. You could give the, the name of the place. You could put whatever you want in there. You could do your copyright. You could do your signature, etc., etc. Entirely up to you. I'm going to place this. I want it to go in the center of the image. I'm deliberately going to place it off center to show you what we did the last time was Command A, Control A. And if you pick up the Move tool, coming across it was this one here it's the align horizontal center clicking on it you'll notice the way that jumps across command d control d gets rid of the selection right let's come up to this we're going to drop down we're going to come to a layer start we're going to go for drop shadow with the drop shadow the same as we had with the border there it is using the size we're going to bring this out to something in this area here that looks pretty good. You can play with the spread as well and just try that and see the way that's looking. Great stuff. Right. The reason for leaving the color is uh, I get asked a lot about what's the difference between the opacity and the fill. Well, this is where we can experiment and this is where I can show you. If we come to the opacity, if we drop this down, everything disappears. The text disappears. The drop shadow disappears. It all goes. If we come to fill, if you click on fill, if you drop this down, Look what's happening. The color is disappearing. It has now gone through to white. So there it is. We've just knocked out that color we've got. And there it is looking pretty good like that. Job done. You can always come back to your drop shadow as well. And you can just perhaps drop the opacity of that down a touch or two just to blend in. Clicking OK. Right, folding that up out of the way, you can see FX showing us this layer styles being applied to this. Now, there is our framework, there is our border, and one of the questions that was asked when I did the first version of this was, you know, you've cropped the picture. We haven't actually cropped the picture, we've actually masked it. Let's just take a look, I'll show you what I mean. If we switch this off, you can see we've got this part of the picture there, which could be pretty interesting. And what about if you want to bring any interesting part of your picture back? Well, we can. Let's give ourselves a little bit of space. I'm just going to zoom out a bit. We've clicked on this layer here. We're on the name or text layer. We're going to need to just press Command or Control, click on this layer here. Both are now highlighted. If we fold this in out of the way, this is also the reason for renaming this layer zero. I'll come back to that in just a second. But this is the reason why we redid it, layer zero. If we use Command T, Control T, brings up the Transform tool. We can now come to the side. I'm going to press the Alt or the Option key. Now pressing Alt or Option brings out the two sides together. And I'm going to bring it out until it comes to the edge of the picture there. And what if you want a bit more sky? Well, you can. I'm going to click down. And I'm just going to lift up this area here. And you'll notice the bottom part stretching out a little bit as well. But I'm going to lift it up into that area there. Looks pretty good. Let's just drop that down. You'll notice the text or the type is coming with it. That's because both layers are highlighted. Once you've done that, just double click to apply it. There it is. Job done. You're thinking, yeah, that looks really good. OK, if you come to Image, dropping down to Reveal All, through it comes. You'll notice the checkerboard background. If you hadn't have changed this to layer zero, you'd have this in solid white, and you'd then see the sort of the framework around there as well. For that, so that was the reason for changing it to layer zero. All we need to do now is pick up the crop tool. I'm just going to click on this, I'm going to press Alt or Option, I'm going to bring this in, and it should be the same ratio to that area. That looks pretty good. Bring in this in as well, using that Alt or Option key to bring it in by the same ratio. In fact, you can actually bring it in a touch or two further just to keep the edges a little bit uh, smaller. Like the look of that, double clicking to apply, pressing H on the keyboard for the hand tool, Command 0, Control 0 to open the whole thing up. There it is, there is the finished image. You can completely change, you can completely adjust this, you can change the color, you can change the font, you can click on this. If you want to make it a little bit smaller, you can just double click on it, pressing Command or Control dropping the size down like that. It is completely adjustable right the way through. Just click in and press in. 
V for the move tool. You can move that to the side there. And there it is. Job done. Go on, give it a try. It's a great way of just putting a quick framework or border around your picture. It is completely adjustable. You can sort of change it. You can add other pictures to it as well. Entirely up to you. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.